Look at this incredible ricer here. Wow. All right. Was all that really necessary? What? Was all that really necessary? I can't hear you still. Was all that really necessary? I can't help it. It just starts like that. My bad. It's cold. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, today we're doing something really cool. We are throwing it way back today. As you guys remember, we used to make a lot of videos between this Camaro, which we just recently got back on the channel. By the way, if you haven't seen that video, click above and check it out. But Daniel's 350 also, if you guys remember. He's been on the channel for a long time. He's had this car for a long time. It's definitely a lot different than you guys probably remember it. But today, we're going to try to, kind of like as a joke and kind of just having a little bit of fun, we're going to recreate a really old video that we made together. About two and a half years, well no, not that long, about two years ago now. Me and Daniel made a video of me in the Camaro, which is a full bolt on, fairly large cammed car, racing his Nissan 350Z, which is a full bolt on. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty quick. Both cars are six speed, really crazy exhaust. Now let me let me show you the catch to it. Last time that we ran these cars, his car was basically almost stock. It just had an exhaust. I don't even know if it had an intake at the time. Uh, it, it was basically a stock 350Z six speed. But check this out. Look at look at look at. Oh yeah, the door handle doesn't work. Nice. Yeah, the door handle's broken. Nice, dude. That happened recently. He has since completely stripped every single thing out from in the car. So there's like absolutely nothing. There's not even sound deadening in the car anymore. As you guys know, we just now got this engine built for him here recently. And we got it put back in the car. Me and Daniel worked together. We got it all running and everything, which is really, really cool. If you guys missed that video, you can go check it out. But we got the car running. We got it pretty reliable. Oil pressure's good. So far. So far. <laughs> He actually went ahead and put some nice Mishimoto. Shout out to Mishimoto, but we got an oil cooler in there. We got a nice big radiator in there. So this is a very, very healthy setup for a 350Z. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's probably getting close to 300 horsepower at the wheel. The other part to that is that even though it is only 300 wheel horsepower, this car weighs like, how much do you think this car weighs now? 2,700 pounds? Like 28 right now. 2800 pounds? Well, I don't know. It's got the bash bar on it. So probably I'd say 29. The Camaro in its old setup made 500 horsepower at the wheel, but the NA cam that I had in there was a BTR stage four. The one that's in here right now is like a stage three boost cam. Uh, the issue is that it doesn't make that much power naturally aspirated. Whenever you throw a supercharger on there, it is really ready to rock and roll. But in this current setup, it's probably only making about 450 wheel horsepower. The problem with that is that this car weighs with me in it about 4,100 pounds. You already lose, boy? Shut your ass up. Yeah. Anyways, regardless, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I definitely still think that the Camaro is gonna pull past him quite a bit. It's gonna be a lot closer than the last one, though. You should've seen the last one, it was very bad. Daniel's gonna have his camera on his head, that way we can get like a secondary angle of everything. I think it's gonna be a lot closer, though, seriously. And all, all in all, the purpose of this whole entire video is just to kind of have a nice throwback. And uh, now that we got the Camaro back, it's kind of just for old time's sake. We just wanna kind of run again, just to see how close it'll be. So hopefully it's not too boring. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoy this. We're gonna go way out there in Mexico, and we're gonna go get set up, and we're gonna do a few runs, so. See, back whenever I had this car before, I really had a lot of plans that I really wanted to supercharge it and do a lot of fun stuff like that. Unfortunately, the issue is that I just never could quite afford to do any of that stuff. And honestly, I was breaking axles in the car and the axles were like $90. And at the time, I couldn't afford it so much to the fact that I ended up selling the entire car. So now that I have it back, I think that we're gonna try to do some pretty cool stuff with this car, especially being that you guys love this car so much. The response that we've gotten since buying this thing back has been absolutely incredible. So I definitely wanna be able to make some cool videos with it to show you guys what we can actually do with this car. I definitely don't want it to end up turning into another race car, but I definitely wanna make it into something that I really have always wanted to do with this car for years now and never had the opportunity to. I feel like now that it's, I've gotten the opportunity to have the car back and it's in my lap again, I've just gotta do what I've always wanted to do to it. So we're still tossing around a few ideas, but anyways, for now, let's go drag a 350Z. <laughs> It is so weird being back in this car with a GoPro on my head. This is actually the first video in almost three years, I think, or no, almost two years that I have recorded in this car with a GoPro on my head driving it. This is nuts. This is going to be the first time that I've actually raced this car as well in a really long time. So I'm really excited just to be back in the saddle with this car. I really love this car a lot. As you guys know, Hearst is actually a really big sponsor of the channel. And back before Hearst was even a sponsor, that shifter is really what made me want to put Hearst in all the other cars. As you guys know, the Corvette, the giveaway car, it's got a Hearst shifter in it. Black car, the Mustang, it's got a Hearst shifter in it. Camaro here has a Hearst shifter. Everything that is a manual that they make shifters for, I at least will try to get a shifter in one of the cars. I love it so, so much. So this is so crazy i feel like i'm back in college again this is nuts this is what we used to do like every day we would literally just go race make videos go to class get out of class race make videos go to class sleep 
wake up, do it again. Uh, Daniel said it before, but this car has been basically one of the biggest bonding experiences that we've ever had uh, between me and my friend group. This car brought a lot of stuff up for us. This car pretty much took my YouTube channel, brought it off the ground, and if it wouldn't have been for that YouTube channel providing the capital that we needed, we would have never been able to start all of the business opportunities that we had going after that. So I really owe a lot of stuff to this car. After I sold this car and got the Mustang, the Mustang really propelled it, but without this to build a foundation and the fan base that you guys are that I love so much, it just none of this would exist without this. So I really do have a deep love for this car. And I know you guys too, being original fans and everything else, a lot of the OG people that have been around for a long time really love seeing this car back on the channel. So I'm really happy to be able to do that. It's really awesome. This is gonna be the first time in two years that I have beat on this car. The last time that I beat on it, I blew up a diff, I broke an axle, I broke a drive shaft, <laughs> all on multiple occasions. So kind of got a little bit of PTSD, but I think I think I can get it. Hopefully we can get this race in without breaking too much stuff. And if it breaks, oh well. All right guys, we are on the Mexican highway. I will talk to you guys when we get to Mexico. We've got to cross the border and all that good stuff. And you know, I don't wanna, I don't wanna have you guys being bored there all that. So I'll talk to you guys here in just a second. All right, guys, we have just crossed into the border of Mexico. Oh, the weather feels great here. But anyways, I think Daniel honestly in his head thinks that we're gonna be a lot closer than what it's actually gonna be. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of toy with him a little bit just to be an asshole. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna like part throttle it, keep up with him for about two to three seconds so that he thinks that he's got something going and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna lean all the way into it and see what happens. <laughs> I actually might do it for a whole run and then act like he was act like he was winning. <laughs> I love Daniel so much, but you know what? He can be an asshole to me sometimes, so I think now is a good time to pay him back for that. Sorry Daniel, your car is slow. Come on, Daniel. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie though, his car is actually way faster than I thought it was. He was like, you were actually trying? I was like, yeah. He was like, oh my God. <laughs> that was not a full pull from him. There's no way I just beat the Camaro. There's no way. No, I don't believe that. He, he's trolling me. I don't believe this one bit. Daniel, since you're editing this right now, I just wanna let you know I'm sorry. Really sorry for what I'm about to do to you. All right, we let him have his moment. Time to let her eat now. <laughs> I am so mean. We just put like eight links on him. <laughs> oh my god. Let me grab my other camera and see if I can get his face. He's about to be so upset. <laughs> huh? What? No. No, it's not. Pull over! Daniel is so paranoid about his car, it is not knocking. He always thinks that his engine's knocking, or his car is about to blow up, or something. He's, he has no faith in this car. Daniel, it sounds perfect. Stop having bad thoughts about our junkyard build. Look! I was driving and I could hear chatter while I was driving and I'm not used to that. So I'm sorry. Have, Look, I just want to say I'm so sorry. I'm I such it. an asshole. After that, after that pull, I was excited and I, I was like, no, there's no way that just happened. He's trolling me. That's so, that's so fake. The whole way over here, I was like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be a real big asshole to Daniel. I'm going to give it like half throttle the whole time and I'm going to let us get even and I'm just going to see what happens. And then the next one, I'm just going to go full out. Yeah, afterwards, uh, after you pulled by, I was like, that mother... I know what he's doing. There's no, there's no way I just won that race. Sorry. I got more, I got more weight I can take out. We'll race again later. Oh, okay. Your motor sounds fine. Yeah. 
Oh, Daniel's been worried about this car for the longest time because we put it together. We literally just like took an engine, took a bunch of parts, and just like slapped it all together. And we were like, let's go. And he was so worried about it. He's like, well, we didn't check tolerances. And everybody in the comments was like, but the you can't, you just can't do that. Oil pressure's A1. I'm not scared. I'm just mentally preparing myself. We got done. I heard it. It was like, click, 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 click. I was like, uh-oh. You want to get a few more runs in on the way? Yeah. Listen to that. Listen to the song of my people. <laughs> I'm so mean. Ready? That little asshole! <laughs> He's such a dick. <laughs> upset because of what I did so he left on the first talk. <laughs> How to know when Daniel is salty 101. <laughs> All right back to the office we go. <laughs> oh yeah something's definitely not right. I can hear it. Listen. That is that is not normal. sound good dude daniel put like half a length on me no. ask him I swear i'm gonna probably have to pull this transmission soon <laughs> why did you win? No. yeah it's just an ass i knew it i knew he was being a dick <laughs> you did a good job too it was a very convincing win <laughs> on that first one because it was it was a very look, dude you would have you're gonna laugh when you see this video dude God, look, oh work. dude the first one look i went instead of starting in second i started in third and just like rolled into it and he was just like a length out and i was like i pulled it next time i was like oh my god i was like it's so fast let me try it let's try from a 20. <laughs> okay though oil pressure still oil pressure is okay i think it's just trans that's good i was wanting to upgrade that anyway so just, well dang that bad. wasn't really fun I, oh no it was still fun i enjoy breaking parts but it's just the fact that it's like ah. Damn, gotta enjoy, spend money. Shucks, it's like whenever I tore his intake in half. It's like, uh, damn, like, gotta, like gotta it's upgrade something. Kind of Dang. Kind of <laughs> look at him. Look at. Look, look, he looks like. He looks like he's like high on life. He's like, this is great, but I've this been, is horrible. I've been having he's a pretty like good that, time have lately. You seen but... that little kid on the news interview when he's like. <laughs> yeah, that's him. That's him. So I guess Daniel blew his transmission. <laughs> Maybe. That's not good. Something, something definitely is not right. I just don't know what it is. Hang on, let me tell you what happened. So what I did was the first time that we ran, we were going from like a 40 and I started in like third gear instead of first or second. And we honked it off and then I took off and he pulled like a half a length out in front of me. And I was like, I pulled up next to him. I was like, oh, dude, oh my God, that's crazy. It's so much faster now. So look, I'm like, let me try one more run. Let's try it from a 20 and see what it'll do from a 20. And then I just started in first. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it was so bad. It was like eight car lengths in front of him the second race. I know this is becoming a meme at this point, but uh, we're actually going to pick up a car that I'm not going to do anything with except for use for experimental purposes. And that's the best way to use a car. So uh, we're going to go spend some money on a car real quick, literally just to completely destroy yet again on experimental purposes. And we're going to donate the car to science. Just our science. <laughs> Anyways, though, we're gonna we're gonna go pick up a car right quick. Running on, yeah, yeah. Running on, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Look. Oh, I missed four. Howdy. Yo.